The position in Nilfgaard. While Nilfgaard's emperor wields absolute power, harsh, crushing the slightest signs of disobedience, opposing forces continue to exist within the empire. By this I do not mean the disgruntled leaders of conquered provinces, but the magnates within the city of a thousand towers who are unhappy with the current leadership. This conflict between the Emperor and the noble houses of Nilfgaard, the capital, dates back many years. All the princes of the blood and magnates expected their ruler to wed one of their daughters and sire an heir with one of their own. The Emperor, however, had other plans. This proved a slap in the face for all great families from which he refused to take a bride. Yeah, there was a time he wanted to marry Ciri, I think. Uh, to use her for his own purposes. In the end, he couldn't go through with it. I don't know what it was. Probably the fact that she was... Spoilers! His daughter. Um, yeah. His daughter. He played with the thought, but when he saw her, he uh, decided against it, it seems. The Nilfgaardian Guardian opposition patiently awaits for the Emperor to slip up for some event to occur which will weaken his authority, be in an economic crisis or defeat in battle. A secret conspiracy lies ready to see such a moment to incite the disaffected, assassinate the emperor and carry out a coup, uh, coup d'etat, culminating with one of their own number ascending to the dr throne. Um, for obvious reasons, only a limited few know of this conspiracy, but any shrewd observer of Nilfgaardian politics can read the signs of its workings. So long as men are men and the world is as it is, certain dynamics will forever remain the same and the discontent will always from subversive societies with their secret signs and hidden agendas. Okay. Yeah, we knew about one of those, uh, but got uh, prevented. Don't know if the families were punished or if the main protagonist was punish, punished uh, alone. It was actually the Emperor's coroner, I think, who did inside all of this. A sword for witches. Who are the hunters, you ask? Folks like you and yours, I reply. I, the decent kind, haters of lies, doers of good, the kind who live according to the gods' laws and nature's laws too. Those disgusted by the machinations of witches Magickers and non-humans. All that separates us from common folk is that we've the courage to take up arms to defend our lands from evil, to slice out the gangrene that eats up from within. Uh, that is, eats us from within. We haven't a leader. Uh, we haven't forts or land, though. God's fearing Radovid supports us with his gold at times. We've not swarm him nor any other ruler any oath. We serve only the eternal fire and we listen only to our own conscience. Who can join us? Any who is right of soul and sound of body. You can find us in every large city in the north. We will give you board, lodging and weapon. We will explain how to spot the telltale signs of evil, birthmarks and strange and arcane shapes, smooth skin on a mat when aged more than 30 springs and black cats kept in the yard to name but a few. We will show you how to defend yourself from witchcraft, how to tame and snuff out magic elements with dim iridium. We will instruct you how to squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out of them with a hot iron, and how to grant them cleansing death with the help of the sacred fire. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of those guys there, they're burned despite not being a witch or a magician or anything. You know, kind of like back in the days with the Inquisition. Let's take those here. We got some perfume. And another one of those. Gnomish Brankings. Really? Uh, scrub the greasings from a dog's ear, soak into cotton twine, place in a new lamp of greenish hue and set uh, said lamp bet betwixt an eager crowd for sooth shall they swear that the dog's head they behold and this shall be no sorcery but good betidings for the prince of Elanda's new petals a paltry gnome armed with a miniature cutlass behind himself in a pie when guests partook of the princely banquet Anon jumped out of the 
Besebra gnome giving a terrible fright to all at first and causing much merriment once the chest was figured. A cynocephalus or a dog head in our tongue, a beast that uh, in the wastes of Sangerbar dwells, has the corpus of a man but the head of a dog. The prince of Elander did receive such a specimen from those far off lands. The cynocephalus let stream its urine with the tolling of every hour, both day and night. And this is why the Sangerbarians engrave its likeness on timepieces and compasses. Okay. Gnomish prankings. Interesting. All kinds of curious stuff you have lying around there, Nilfgaardian. We got an elegant courteous doublet. Uh, elegant courteous doublet. Everything the same, just the outfit is a little bit different. I think we're gonna choose this one. What's the difference to this one? I like this one more than we have... The trousers, which pretty much look the same on every outfit. And the shoes, which also look the same. Great. Got it, my friend. So, let's meet the Emperor, shall we? And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I assume... A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. <laughs> right. Tough. When in no right. Guard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Are you serious? I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, okay, um, yeah, left leg forward, right hand to chest, I think. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Uh-huh. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, yes, and with respect. Uh -huh. If you say so, man. I'm going to do... Extinguish each of those candles. Yes, hen as queen. Let's see what's down there. The Wild Hunt! Oh, we can't go in the inventory at the moment, it seems. We have something else here. Silver. Can't get in there. Okay. That was totally worth it, in my opinion. in Karn Eb Marvut Emir Var Emreis Bow 
Oh, we can choose. No, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I'm sure it's gonna bite us in the ass. But I couldn't do it, sorry. So many months of Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. What a pretty picture. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure it's her? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong. Even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Why me? Yeah. Why do you choose me? Why don't you send one of your best soldiers or something like that? I mean, as. How many men in the army? 20,000? 30? Because so she trusts me. You know why? Because she trusts yeah. you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Which means none of your damn business. Enough of this banter. Mm. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh, I'm not doing this for you or for the payment. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. He does seem concerned, so... Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. There are no breaches of etiquette for one day. Well, I'm sorry, man, really. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard the second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some... I guess I should have thought about that. No. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Yeah, I know a bit about that. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's top secret, he's not telling anyone. Soon, mind you. Actually, I am not, but... I mean, I'd like to see her, but... Under the circumstances... Yeah. 
Again, I'm sorry, my friend, that you have to be punished for my disrespectfulness. Didn't think about that. Maybe in the future. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Thank you. Yes. Then transcribe. The true First of all, we look around a little bit. What shall become of Temeria? Okay. Oh no, we can't open that, so we have to read those later on. The Royal Lineages of the North. I hope I remember all of those titles. Hope they, they are not going to kill this guy. I assume that wouldn't be wise. He's probably getting punished physically and then... yeah. Still not nice. Sure, I could have avoided that by just bowing. But Garrett is a stubborn guy. You know. The portrayal of the Elder Races should be very interesting. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yes, she has. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. Did you now? But let's focus on Siri. Right? Of course. Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspacy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. I kind of missed those awkward compliments as well. Um, so what's the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? I mean, I can imagine, obviously, but for context. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has she been? Where has she, um... Where did your agent see her? So where has Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. And who might that be? Triss Merigold. Apparently oh. she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. 
I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Alright, sounds like a plan. Um, yeah, before we part, why didn't you come to me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great... Oh, come on! Damn, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. She's kind of frosty a little bit. Hope we can warm that up over time. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Maybe not so frosty, after all. Whoa! Okay, portal. And there she goes. So we have to make our way to Velen now to find Siri. Gonna collect all these books and then we're going in the other room. There is this guy waiting who can explain a little bit about the recent events. I hope he has some political knowledge as well. There he is. Um, yeah, I think that's a good time to end it for now. I'll be seeing you on my next Let's Play, I hope. If you like my videos, want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Uh, for some sneaky reviews also, because they're coming as soon as I get my hands on a new game to review. Yeah, see you soon.